Hi. I thought I'd have a go at doing this little. It's a puzzle doll's house. Apparently, it's for children. Uh, so, I've been on the internet to see if there's any instructions because basically, the instructions on the packet at the moment don't look really that clear. I don't know if you can see that. But basically, what it says first to punch out all the. Um, the pre-stamped pieces so it comes in this black kit here and it's got all like little bits that you punch out so that is what I'm going to spend my time doing is just punching out these bits and what I've found I've just done one at the moment and what I found is to punch the little bits out with is a blunt kind of knife either the handle or a knife there and it'll leave tiny little nicks not not much and I find that the little bit of sandpaper that they give you is not that good so what I've done I've raided me uh, manicure set I've got one of the sandpapers there and I've just cut it in half to be able to get and file away anyway so that's what I'm going to do this is the first stage I am just going to do what it says in the instructions and I'm going to punch out all the bits and sand them down and see if I can put them together. But at the moment, I'm thinking, hmm, now then, where do I begin? Anyway, I'll show you my next stage. So if you want to join me and see if this ends up being like that, then keep tuned. Okay then, bye for now. Hi, well this is the finished result, well it's not actually, actually finished, it's just a dry build and I think it took my daughter-in-law and I about 20 hours and on the packet it says I think around about 10, hour, 10 hours and um, I think it's suitable for a child of 10, well yeah if that child's a member of Mensa because uh, the instructions leave uh, a lot to be desired. Um, right, so what I'll do, I'll just show you a close-up version of it because I went on another lady's site who'd built, part built it and without her help, I don't, <laughs> you know, she really helped me and I, her site would have had uh, probably a million hits if I hadn't paused it. So, like the little towers here, they're made up of these tiny little brackets. So... There's a lot of identification work to be done, but it's fun. I mean, like I say, my daughter-in-law, my daughter-in-law and I did it together, so uh, it is fun to do. Uh, there's a lot of preparation work to go into it afterwards, though, if you want to make it look uh, like anything. So I'll just show you around slowly, so you can kind of look at some of the parts, because every bracket has got to be assembled. Right down to your little dormer there. I've got little tiny brackets to hold the walls on in place, all the side panels. So if I just go round with the camera, you might kind of see a bit that you may be struggling with that this can possibly help. Because I actually went on eBay as well to look at the photos. So each little bit is assembled. There you go. I'll just turn it around here. That's all one cons all one piece back. I mean, it does say to separate all the pieces, and I do agree with that. I mean, like I say, this isn't fully assembled yet. I've got the tech list of bits, which I'm dreading doing. Uh, there's a little stairs fitted in there. Again, that's probably best done. One of the first jobs to do, build round it. Um, I'll just give it another turn around. Every little bit of the bay window, there are the windows for it, and then sections there at the top. This bay window here, that's three long sections. 
and it's got like um, a hexagon kind of piece that goes in the middle and the top. Uh, this front here, that is actually three sections. You've got that piece there. Uh, this piece here at the side and that piece at the front. It's all individual. So I'm just doing this so you can kind of identify pieces that you might have in trouble of fitting together. So I'll just take it a bit further away so you can see it there. These uh, little um, trims here actually interlock because we were trying to figure that out how to put them together. Um, I think that's all. Hi. Well, this is Fantasy Villa completed at last. Um, it was quite a project, but like I said, I wanted a challenge to see if I could make it look anything. And uh, I think I have. I'm quite pleased with it actually, because it's quite a pretty little house. Well, it's just supposed to be a puzzle, but uh, I wanted to see what I could do with it. And uh, yeah, I think I've done okay with it. What do you think? Uh, the house is reasonably cheap to buy so but it's not quite 124 scale so I had to modify um, a 124 scale kit just to make things look you know reasonably within scale um, I got a lot of stuff like I said from Jim's printable minis like the rugs and the floors uh, the lampshades and the little books there I new scrapbook wallpaper and uh, there you go, that's that bedroom, and the little lounge there, there's a little cat sitting on the chair, um, and my little fireplace, let me just turn this around so you're not going to see my working fireplace there, quite proud of that. I know the lamps look a little bit out of scale but it really was tiny to do, it really is a small you can't get your hand inside it, so everything was quite a squeeze to do. I mean, these tiny, tiny little beads there, the little lamps. But I enjoyed doing it, it was fun, and I'm going to collect. I think there's quite a few of them to collect, and with them being reasonably cheap. Um, it keeps me from spending an awful lot of money. And I found my meerkats there and I thought that's a perfect home. So it's keeping a lookout. So there you go. Fantasy Villa. Okay though. I hope you've enjoyed my little tour of that. Any questions please feel free to ask. Bye then.